Hey pole babes, today I'm going to show you how to clean a brass pole. So in order to get ready to clean your brass pole, you just need four things. So you need a pair of gloves, so this stuff can get pretty hectic on your skin, so you want to protect your skin. So grab yourself a set of gloves. Um, I'm using these ones, however, if you're doing a lot, you might be better off getting some heavy duty gloves. Um, because I've broken a few of these cleaning the poles in the studio. So, step one, get some gloves. Number two, you want to clean your pole with a cutting agent. So I'm using um, Mr. Buff's cutting compound. Um, I've been using it on the poles. This is my 10th pole I'm about to do. Works great, really helps get the grime off. Do not use Brasso, it is a polish. It will make your pole slippery. Um, but yeah, this has been really good. You'll then also need some acetone. Note with the acetone, keep the lid on. If you keep the lip, lid off, it will evaporate. Um, and I'm, I've been using three rags. Alrighty, so first thing you wanna do after you get those gloves on, you wanna get your Mr. Buff and open that up. These do smell, um, so depending on how you're you're feeling and what it is like for you um, you might want to wear it's probably recommended that you wear a mask um, because it can they are quite fumy oh no I can't get into my Mr. Buff all right <laughs> once you're in Grab your Mr. Buff. It's like a green compound in there. Grab one rag, which is going to be your Mr. Buff rag. So you want to keep him for Mr. Buff. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to get an amount on that rag. So I'm just starting off with this amount. And I'm just going to do the bottom of the pole to show you how to clean it. And then I'll finish the pole off. And then we'll I've got some before and after pictures to show, show you. So grab um, your cloth and just get the Mr. Buff on the pole, and then start rubbing it in in that area. Um, we've got quite a few. These poles have not been polished in about oh, seven years. Um, so yeah, you might need to really get in there. Like we have quite a bit of tarnishing. Keep in mind though, when you do polish brass poles, like some of this tarnish is actually helping with your grip. Even though these poles, uh, brass is generally grippier pole um, or a grippier metal pole dancers. Um, yeah, these ones, they might be taking off some of that grippiness. So when you do get back on the pole, you might find that um, your grip is really hard. Um, some of the areas where you see spots, you might just need to get your finger into it a little bit um, to help get those off. All right, when you feel that that needs a little bit of topping up, again, just grab a small-ish amount of this on your cloth and go over those key areas that you need to, um, you need to clean. It does take a, it is a bit of a workout. You're gonna do like a full pole. Um, our poles here in the studio are about four meters, so I normally have to get the, the ladder out um, and I start from the top and work my way down. All right. As you can see, it doesn't take long for your cloth to get a bit gross and a bit dark. Um, where there's some tough areas, again, just add some more Mr. Buff on there. Um, yeah, get those fingers and that pressure into it. Um, when you do buy Mr. Buff, it does come with a cloth. I did use it. Um, it's pretty gross after doing one pole. So yeah, I've just been just been using microfiber towels, but now, all right. So make sure you get in off all those little areas. 
Um, different techniques I've found work is just going around the pole like this, um, up and down. <laughs> Your mind can go wherever it likes. All right, so what I'm going to do is for the most part, I think I've got a lot of the grime on this part of the pole. Most of the spots are pretty good. I'm just going to do the bottom because the bottom is generally a little bit harder. I find they're a little bit, for me anyway, at the poles in the studio here have been a bit grimier. Um, if your pole's on carpet, put something underneath you. Um, it can get on the floor. You don't want this stuff on the floor. All right, so once I'm happy with my Mr. Buff, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to grab some acetone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab one rag. This is gonna be my acetone rag. And just put some acetone on it. I've just done sort of like that much acetone on it. And don't forget to put the lid back on, you don't wanna lose it. And then wipe the pole over. This is gonna help remove the rest of the Mr. Buffett on the pole and potentially tell you or show you if there's any spots you've missed. They so get right down to the bottom, right up to the top. All right, and then that last cloth, what I've been using it for, I found if you don't sort of go over it with a clean -er cloth afterwards, it still leaves a lot of like tarnishy looking marks. So what I do is I just get, this is my, look how much black stuff is on that. Um, this is my acetone rag. This is my um, clean rag. I just use the acetone one um, as I bring it down, do that first and then wipe it over with my clean rag. It's just gonna pick up some of the other stuff that the acetone hasn't been able to, um, but yeah. All right, so, wow, nice and clean. Like I said, um, just check the pole over, make sure you're happy with it. If you need, go over it again with your Mr. Buff. But yeah, so that is how you clean a brass pole um, using Mr. Buff, some acetone and some microfiber towels. Don't forget the gloves, as you can see, they're all pretty gross right now. So yeah, so. I hope you have some luck uh, cleaning your poles at your home or your studio. Let me know how you go, post in the comments below. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you back here next time. Thanks ladies.